Good morning or good day. Welcome to networking. I want to just take a couple of minutes and talk about the power of networking versus prospecting. So in the game of real estate, everybody talks about prospecting, prospecting, prospecting and prospecting. For those of you that want to be real here, prospecting is boring. Uh, it is mundane. Uh, it soaks up a lot of time and the results generally are two or three percent of the time spent that become viable. That doesn't mean that you don't do it though. What it does mean is you need to look at what other alternatives there are. And one of the alternatives that I'm always pontificating or preaching on is networking. And networking starts basically from the time that you leave your home. And I want to cover that just in a little bit of detail and talk about even going to buy a cup of coffee. Every morning after uh, I leave the house, I go to the, the same coffee shop up here in Mount Waverley. And one of the things that I've, I've got to learn is every morning I go there, I'm meeting different people. Every morning I go there, I might be meeting a new staff member. I, once I park the car, I'm walking to the coffee shop, I'm meeting new people. I try and make it a point that I introduce myself and get to know the other person. And that can be done in many, many ways. But the best form of selling yourself and expecting nothing back, like give without expectation, is sincerity selling. Sell sincerely. So when you give yourself, give yourself and introduce yourself by name, but expect nothing back. And you will find people consciously or subconsciously know when it's sincere, even if they're not recognizing it at the time. And generally speaking, if you are sincere and pure of heart when you're doing it, people will give back. They'll either offer their name or you'll start a conversation, whatever it might be. So the power of networking cannot ever, ever be underestimated. And what I always say, and what I did say, and it's been a while for me now, but when I was running real estate businesses, you know, the, we, we want to try and get prospecting up, right, and get networking even higher than prospecting. So eventually what will happen is the prospecting will drop because your network is so strong. And when you're out at barbecues, you're going to the football, whatever it might be, if people know that you're good at your art and you're sincere in telling them that you're good without boasting, but you just talk about work in general, and people get a feel that you are the expert in your field, they will refer to you. You won't have to do anything about it. They will give to you because they know that you look after their friends and family, etc. So never, ever, ever underestimate the power of networking. Never, ever underestimate the power of friendship. And never underestimate the power of family and all their connections that they have. Thanks for listening.